feel good and you get the rosy glow and then you're off to your merry way. And, and our oxytocin too. levels. Wait. There you go. Yes. Heather, Ooh. you're going to get sick and then you can't help take care of them and make or wash off the faucet. Have handles. hand sanitizers, not everybody, and especially young lead And sanitize, clean up, clean the bathroom and don't share towels. Right, and don't, our, and don't use this toothbrush even if you're lazy in the shower. Our relationship mistakes, yes. but I want to talk about relationships and our very own Dr. Jennifer Berman. Beauty to chemistry and right. you know, Absolutely. we'll see. Yeah. Okay, thank you for your good question. I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> this, I, you know, I wanna ask this question oh my because God. This, I mean, this goes, I'm smart and I'm confident. And, I, what kind of, and what kind of man do you like? I like rugged. rugged Throw me against the wall. Don't read the Prince of Tides. Right. Yeah. I, you know what? <laughs> Look at that. That. Model demonstrates it with air. Uh, the penis is more like a tire than like a balloon. A balloon will get bigger and bigger the more you fill it with air. The normal, unaffected penis, and as it gets filled up, it straightens out oh. and increases in size and girth. Okay. I've now never, let's take a look at the never been so poodle out before. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a very severe case of Peronis. <laughs> now this is the Peroni situation. This scar-like tissue, it's not a true scar because it's not necessarily from a cut, but it's tough, fibrous tissue that won't stress. The tissue of the penis is very interesting because it's very, very strong, yet it has some flexibility. The prony scar has no flexibility. So if all the rest of the tissue is stretching and that one part is not, you get an angulation. And let's see how that works. So as the penis is filling, you jealous, Travis? <laughs> it takes a bend. And that bend is because that area would not stretch the same way the normal tissue would. That bend can be quite severe. It can be straight up. It can even go back. Um, Dr. Gelman. It can be lower down, too. It doesn't, it's not always in the distal end. This is true. Sometimes it can be a hit. wasting, like an hourglass in an area of weakness where the, the blood may flow in and leak right out. So there's a whole variety of manifestations. Dr. Gelman, uh, outside of surgery, there's very little that is effective. Mm -hmm. And there's. You all ready? Yeah. yeah. 